think we were actually ahead of the curve before creative financing really became popular. It's like over the last 12 months, it's like the number one searched word on bigger pockets is creative financing. Because everybody <laughs> wants to know now because of the transition of the market and because it's a because of its conservative nature and its creative nature, people are looking to like, how do I add that tool to my tool belt? Because if you're in certain industries like wholesaling, and again, this is my perspective. I'm, I'm not able to predict this, but wholesaling, fix and flipping, you're seeing margins dramatically decrease. So automatically you're starting to think, all right, there's two options if I'm in that industry, which is I had to do more or uh, I'm going to eventually lose out on profits. Or I got to find out other strategies in order to now capture the leads that I couldn't originally qualify. Uh, so that's what we're seeing a lot of. So, so creative financing just really is the, providing a solution uh, with alternative methods. And really, the way we look at it is it's really three options. It's uh, owner financing. So the seller is the bank. Uh, you find this a lot in real estate, but also you know in, in just businesses in general, buying and selling businesses. Um, you got subject to deals or buying properties subject to the existing loan. There's a lot of good debt out there, like really low interest rates, but people are in struggling financial positions. So us as a real estate investor can come in and get uh, and come in and buy a property and, and keep that loan in place, which is advantageous for us. Uh, and then also lease options. So really just the ability to control an asset without ownership. Um, so those are the three main ways in which we acquire assets. And then we exit primarily rent to own or doing a, like a, a wrap or via owner financing. So we we do creative on both the buying side and the selling side. Um, so then that's exactly what we teach. We, we've uh, had a family business here in uh, Southern New England. Uh, our office is in Rhode Island. We've been buying in, in real estate in Southern New England for 10 plus years, specifically just on creative financing, not including everything else we did. Um, and really we had that as like that microcosm to be able to now do it and then we and then teach people exactly how to do that as well, which is really go from solopreneur, like, you know, doing this as a side hustle to eventually CEO of your business or your portfolio as people transition uh, either in, you know, into more of a lifestyle business or transition to grow and scale a real estate investment company. And they just do it all through, you know, our creative financing techniques. This is awesome. 